Well, hello, yes. Uh, as you can see, I'm back home, Kefalonia. <laughs> a few of the reason I'm doing this video is a few of you have asked me um, when I was coming back, and uh, well, I've been back a while, um, about a week or so now. Uh, got picked up from the airport by the lovely landlady, Yolana, and. Uh, I've been settling in, paying a few bills, working out what my next move is, because uh, hello to those of you who have just stumbled across me. <laughs> and for those of you who watch the site regular, and I know there's quite a few of you now, and thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, things didn't go according to plan. Uh, brief, I had, a, I had a flight cancelled, which meant I had to cancel all the work I had last year, which meant I'm now not only in debt for last year, but I've had to borrow money to get me through this year. Hopefully I've got some work booked in uh, for when I go back. Um, so I'll be going backwards and forwards, earning money in the UK and living out here for now. But we'll see, who knows what might happen next. Anyway, for those of you who haven't been to the site before, that's my view every morning. Um, down there is Agastoli. Um, and you can see the famous old bridge and the marina and the lagoon um so uh, yeah we, me and terry have been quite busy the last week or so we uh, built a sky lounge which let me go and show you these were my old tables and chairs that came with the flat and uh, i just thought it's a lovely place to i used to come and stand here last year and look over the over the edge of the cliff down at the view you can see up to uh Castro's castle up there where Liana has the Olive Lounge uh, which is a brilliant restaurant and she's a brilliant person to uh, to go and see fantastic food fantastic company uh, and then there's the valley and the main road down into Agostoli and the football pitch uh, and the mountains Mount Ennis in the background there under the cloud cover at the moment so you can't really see it so yeah so uh, anyway <clears throat> We were sitting here the other day and I said to Terry, what are those trees there with the white blossom? He said, they're cherry trees. I said, oh, how long would it take to make get a cutting to grow? He said, well, you wouldn't live to see it grow to a tree. <laughs> so uh, a couple of days later, down the bank he went, which it probably isn't picking it up really well, but there's a steep bank down there. Um, and he dug a few out for me, uh, which we've planted and are now by my front door. So uh, we put them in pots for now, um, for a couple of reasons. One, it's best to get them to take before we do anything with them. Um, but I'm going to leave them there for a while because I think they look quite nice there. Uh, and the other reason is we've got a bit of a land dispute going on with the driveway. Um, that's going to get filled in, I think, in this area here. Um, and then the drive will swoop round that way. So it's not really going to affect me very much, I don't think. Uh, we had to take the old shed down, which was falling down anyway. So, yeah, that's the outside. I've uh, got some peppers growing in my planter. We're not quite sure what that is. I think it's probably a geranium, but we don't know. It's come back anyway. It was dead last year. Some more cherry trees there, which eventually I'll probably plant around the perimeter there there's a little rockery there i'm going to make a little garden out of because as you know those of you who follow me uh, in the uk i live on a boat i'm not used to having a garden <laughs> so uh, inside well nothing much has changed have a look i did have a bit of a move around um the settee used to be here facing that way and then the table into the kitchen but uh uh, you know, being British, I like a little living room, so I've put the settee there with its back to the table and my telly's there. And it means that I can uh, come up every morning with my coffee and if it's not very good weather outside, I can stand and look at the view through the window. But of course, if the weather's good, I go and sit in the Sky Lounge over there. Nice picture that uh, Yolanda, the landlady, um, bit of tapestry that is, she sewed that apparently. Um, so now I'm getting a few personal effects. I've got my dragsters there, my, my uh, muscle machines. Um, a caricature that Richard did when I was in a band called Running Shoes uh, with Neil Davis out of, the, out of the Selector. 
Um, yeah, got a motor bike on top of the fridge, pictures of the kids, uh, and there's the table. So I can still use a table for eating. Got a little galley kitchen there, so that's all right. And of course, blah, 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 further back, I won't bore you with that, but I've got uh, two bedrooms and the place is air -conned. What more could you want? So it's only a short video today. Uh, so yeah, uh, those of you who've stumbled across me, flick back through the videos and uh, I hope you like what you see and you'll subscribe. Um, the more subscribers I get, the better. If you want to sponsor me, that's fine. <laughs> I'm up for that. <laughs> Could do with all the help I can get at the moment. So yeah, I'm uh, going to be looking for something to do to earn a living. Um, possibly going back to the UK to do that, but uh, we'll see. Um, flies and things all over the place, but that's what you get in Kevalonia, I suppose. So yeah, stay tuned. Have a bit of patience. We're going to have some night when I get a motorbike, which will be in the next uh, week or two. I'll be out travelling around the island, doing videos, uh, various points to uh, come and visit, should you want to come out here. And yes, you will when you see where I go. Um, but for now, I've got... Uh, my adopted sister, Pat Burkitt's coming out, the bucket. Um, she's staying with me for my birthday and then going back. And then I should probably get a motorbike. So, hit the subscribe, costs you nothing, helps me. Hit the like, share away. See you guys very soon. So from a very sunny Catalonia. Yasus.